<laughs> Alright, so we're going to talk about our top five ongoing series at the moment. Uh, these are series that are being released usually monthly or bi-weekly, they're Marvel. Um, and uh, we're just going to talk about our top five. So we'll go 5, 5, 4, 4, start with Zach. Okay, so my number five is Superman Unchained. Written by Scott Snyder, who is a brilliant, brilliant writer. Um, and also drawn by Jim Lee, who's my favourite mm. artist. Uh, everything about this comic encapsulates everything that Superman is. It really gives him a new storyline, something a good storyline, which is hard to find in Superman comics these days. And great, great characteristics and great characters as well. Yeah, um, my number five is Superior Foes of Spider Man. Uh, it's a spin off book of Superior Spider Man, and it's really funny and different. It's um, a, just a group of C grade villains. Um, in together, who are trying to make ends meet, uh, and it's just it's hilarious. So yeah. Uh, my number four is Superman Wonder Woman. This is a great storyline between Superman and Wonder Woman, and it really explores their relationship with each other. Plus, also has great villains such as Doomsday and General Zod, and that's only like the first ten issues. So yeah. Um, my number four is Nightwing, uh, written by Carl Higgins, and I'm crying on the inside as it finishes. Um, I've, I've loved it. It's, it's just a story about a kid, like, well, he's not a kid anymore, who's a sidekick who's trying to make, find his own place in the world and trying to get his own identity. Okay, so my number three pick is Superior Spider-Man. It's a great Spider-Man story that has Doc Ock in the in the mind of Peter Parker, so it's really interesting to read how Doc Ock reacts to his situations. But sadly, it's ending soon, as well as Superman Unchained. Everything's ending. Ending soon, but Amazing Spider-Man is coming back. All right, uh, my number three is Batman and previously Batman and Robin, but um, you may have heard the latest Robin died, so. The other sidekicks have been filling in with uh, issues like Batman and Red Robin, Batman and Red Hood, Batman and Nightwing. Um, and recently there was a storyline called Batman and Two-Face, which really reinvigorated the character of Two-Face and um, retold his origin for the New 52 and it was a really great story. I've enjoyed reading this book. Okay, so my number two may come, to, may come as a surprise, but it's Guidance of the Galaxy. Um, I love these characters, they're like so different that they work together, uh, especially Groot, I love Groot. Yeah. Uh, is, these characters are being brought to life in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie coming out soon, or soon this year, later this year, uh, and I'm really excited because they had this crossover with the X-Men, and that was a really good story. Alright, uh, my number two is Hawkeye which is a bit of a different comic, it's critically acclaimed because it's not an all comic about, you know, a superhero trying to beat bad guys, it's about a superhero in his everyday life um, as well as another Hawkeye, uh, Kate Bishop, who may not be as well known uh, they're both really interesting characters, um, it's funny and it's just, it's just interesting to watch um, and read their relationship um, the issue about Pizza Dog, Pizza is my business so funny. It's, it's an issue just about a dog and his perspective of things. Um, how they pulled that off and how they got permission for it, I'm not sure. But it's really funny and it could quite possibly be one of the greatest issues of this year. Okay, so number one. Number one. My number one is Justice League of America. Uh, started originally by Jeff Johns, who's my favourite writer. Uh, he's not currently working on it now, but it is a tie-in to Forever Evil. Uh, one of the best tie-ins to Forever Evil. It follows the story of Martian Manhunter and Stargirl. Plus all the characters that they had, that like Green Arrow, Catwoman, uh, who else? they had um, Simon Baz, Green Lantern, which is an interesting pick. Martian Manhunter, Katana, all these characters, oh, yeah. they're, they're really different, but so far we haven't seen them work as a team, which is sad because 
it's ending soon. <laughs> uh, but some of them are returning for Justice League United, so I might pick that one up. Uh, yeah, I'm just really sad to see this one end. Everything seems to be ending. Well, this is one title, my number one, not likely to end anytime soon. Um, it's Scott Snyder's Batman comic. Uh, it is the biggest selling comic around. It gets the highest sells and it, it, there's a reason for that. It's just really good. Um, it portrays Batman in a, love, a really interesting way. Um, currently telling his origin in Zero Year, which is a really, um, I'd say strange take on his origin, but, but worth reading and interesting. It, like, it's weird, but you want to know what happens, um, so it's really good. I love Greg Capullo's art, uh, it really makes the pages stand out to me, and it's the issue I look forward to every week. So this is just our opinion, hopefully you have your own that you will share with us in the comments below.